Արև ձեզ հարկելի ասկակիցներ, այս ժողորդի պարեգամներ, յութուբի պաժանորդներ և անշուշտ վեսվուկի ընգերներ։ Այսօր բիտի խոսինք խորի դեզո մուսադաղ շարժաբատքերի մասին։ Մուսադերան 40 օրերը, բայց ամերիկյան տարգմ Պրանց վերպվիլի կիրկեն արնված բատմությում մնե է, որ 1983-1984 ստվագաներուն նգարահանած ենք, անգլերենով է, միայն հայրի ամարջեր ընտանուրի ամար է, եվ աց վիլմի բադրասությունը պավական ժամանակ տեվեց, և վի Ստետ դիպարտնութը մինչ տարկել կեղաձեր, թուրկյան մինչ պողոկաձեր, թուրկյո հնազանտելով չեին արդոնած, ոչ է չեին արդոնած, խնդրած էին, որ վիլմը չի բադրաստվի, ոչ իմա վաղը միսոր, կալջապատ, միսոր արարի վիլմերը և աբրանքները շատ նոպաներ ձախու անեցին և անժամանակ էր, որ լայբրերին, որ սենարներ ու նութեր ու լայբրերինը, որ ձախու էր, անժամանակ էր, որ որի դեզո մուսադաղը ոգշնի տրվեցավ, աջուրդի տրվեցավ, որբ որոշեց ծերնարգել ատքործը, սագայն վուսալ էրան վիլմի այսիքն իրամուկ ունեցողները, կամ ընդանի կներով էր իչ-որ է իչ-որ իրենց կբատկաներ իրամունքը, բայմաններ տրազեին, դարի է դարի որնագամար առաջին դարին ասկա� Հաչոր տարի բետք է վերանոր ոգես, դորեն վջարես որոշ կումարմը և այդպեսով դարիներ շարունակվեցավ և բարոնք ճանքյուրջյանը չգրծավ թրամավակել և աչուցախի ինգա պավագանան ժամանակ պրոբլեմն ունեցավ, վեր հայգագան և ամերիկյան կո պրոդակշմը մեջ տեղկա, անշուշանքներնով, ամերիկացի տերասաներով, ամերիկացի կրողներով և այլն, և որոշեցի, որ բիջեն բաջետը բիտելա 8 միլիոն դոլար անժամանակ մեծ ստրամ էր, և բայմա Ամջամը պրոբլեմ չուն էր տրամու ուներ, սագայն հայերը չգրծան ատ տրամա ավակել 4 միլիոն դոլար, որվեսի վիլմը մեջ տեղ կար, մեծ տերասաներով, անմանի տերասաներով և այլ և այլ։ Աժամանակ ես աս կորձի մետ չի գայի, մինակ ի� Եվ որ չեղավ ասկան ժամանակ տված էին, որ ատ տրամահավակվի պիտի սկսեին, հայերը չգրսան ատ տրամահավակել և որեմն անչատվեցավ կյանսել եղավ, ատ համասայնությունը չեղյալ նգատվեցավ։ Եվ կանի որ ամեն դարի պետք է Եսի որ միակ միջոցը բետ կերտաս Հայաստան, Հայաստանի բերությանյատ խոսիս, նա իր իչ կբադայի։ Կնաց Հայաստան, այշուշտ այն աժավատ Սովետի ժամանակ էր, Հայաստանի կարավարդյուն այն ժամանակվա Սովետեսի բարոն կյուրջյանսի բետք է Մոսկվա երտաս, որ կարենաս իչ կրնասն էլ, Մոսկվա կնաց և անոնց էտ համասայնեցան խոսեցան, 
Bosvan savor shat the bastavor love nutmere kuzenk bastaksil bas aisorer shenker nar voroedev Rusian anjamanak Afganistani mecher ye problem une in Amerika sirunet esinas harseret oluzvi Amerika yet hashutyu tola Afganistani harse ver chikta savorenk bas jamanak chuner ich pidaner tarimeves mit noroker ye vajamala girenisi vor tarimeves knorokenk Film badraselu iravun ke pas angevet chiga. Vorove de varten Turker lesazein as misipam maga ye vireng aveli parser Kumar arachargazein. Beratarsa vega savor as pis as pis hars maga ichireng. Savor kides simarun kurchan asor miak pichosa vaverakragan sharja batker ma badrasteng. 16 mm vaverakragan megjam Poso Batmutun Kishmagarov Kishway Violet, Tasa or Eke Fima Badras Sazgalas Kone Hamasanutun Irakur Zazgalas. Pats Yefor Ashadankis sank for Badras Sankis sank the Gardera of Akele Violet. Lesetsin Yravuku in its owner, a Kirki Batmutian Yravuku in its owner, I sank a missive or watch, make Vavera Kragan Sharja Batker, Changuzer, Film Guzeng. Եվ վերանորոգեց իրենց կոնտրակտը համասանակիրը համասանակիրի մեջ գրեցին որ Միդլա 35 մմ քունավոր եւ պետք է լի արտավազը մեկ ու կես ժամ եւ առավել պետք է վավերացվի պրոդյուսերու անգերակցության գոմե որ Հոլիվուդ գար այդպիսի խումբ մղադաղավին գա ադոք պետք է վավերացնեն որ ֆիլմը այո հաչող է լավ է արժանի է Ուրեմն ասենք անսենք կորձի սավ ես կրնամ մի քանի օկիներ են որոշ քոմար մահավակել եւ խոստումներ եղավ մոդարաբես 3 3.5 միլիոն 4 միլիոնի ճապ ասի բավար արչե բայց կփորձենք նա ինչ կրնա գրել եւ աշխատակի լսվեցակ սցենարը գրել դվինք յետ վերանորոգեցիք որտեվ անգլիացի սցենարիստ մկրածեր լոնդոնեն Եվ մեծ փոխարա ձեր գրությունը չի նավնած ոս քրչան եւ իր բարեկամները գերությունը ըստ սցենարը չի նավանած մենք կդանք հայդղամը որ օգնեմ եզիկ ինքնակրող էր ասենք ես վերանորոգեն կսկրիպտը սցենարը մեր ուրեցած դրամին ամեն մատ սահմանենք որոշ բաներ ադաշխատանքները դարինք Եվ սկսավ տարասաներ հավակել եւ այլն ամեն մեկ իր կորձ ունել տարասաները ավշուշի կավելի ժամանակ ու ներգրնար հավակել դեսնել եւ այլն ինձ քիչ ժամանակ դրվեր որ ադուցե զսպավեմ ես այլ տեխնիկական կորզորով զսպաված էի եւ ավշուշ մոռացածելը որ կտրված էր ինձ մեզ ես փեմատրեմ ֆիլմը այս անգամ որ ինձ համար ավշուշ ուրախություն էր բայց տեսակ ինչ պատահեցավ մաբիդի դեսնեք այսինքն գարջ գամ եմ մի քիչ ինչ որ է որոշվեցավ տերասաներ ովքեր են ասինչ անիչ եւ այլն եւ որոշվեցավ երբ ուշապտի ասինչ թվականի մի սկսենք նկարել նկարանումը եւ ուրբադորը հրավիրեց ինքը աշխատողները կորզավորները մեքափ կոնստրակշն ամեն ինչ որ գար բացի տերասաները որ միասին օրմ անցնենք ճաշկրույթ ունենանք եւ հաշողություն մաղթենք Ուրբադորը ռինգ ատ քեֆը որ գսել ուրախությունը խրախճանքը եւ երեք շաբթի մի դսկսիկ նկարանել հուսալով որ 4 միլիոն դոլար ունենք շապատ արաբոտ կեսորիտ հերացայնեց ասավ ագեր բորադյան քրչյանը պրոբլեմ ունենք քեզի սավ լավրչուլ լավ լուրչուր եմ դալ ոսի չղավ Սավատ անցերը որ Տրամպ ինի ներդրում գադարեին 1 ու 2 միլիոն դոլար 1 1 միլիոն դոլար եւ այլն վերջին ռոբեին հրաժարեցան ես ի՞նչ է ավ ես ավ ստեթ դեպարտմենտը իրենց թեմած է որ այսօր այս ֆիլմի ժամանակը չէ ինչպես տաղաբես եղա ձեր նույն բաները բայց ասի որ ադեղ արե որ չէ իրենք ես գրդան անցնարարել ամերիկայի մեջ ազատ ես որքա ռադեմ որ հագա ամերիկյան ֆիլմերու վրա չէ կորձը terroristaga pamuche chenger dar arkilel asav che chen arkilel pats ga hansnararen aysaka msav hayere chuzetsin at martik vor unevor ein chuzetsin bedutyan et 
Hagan sagan xintir unen al, problem unen al. Ora ben hiç yav, hiç ak be akabit. Beguges milyon dolar. Asi hiç bes mi dene gaz? Hiç bu tiş var e? Production manager gan çetsin, dayıtsan, kozetsan, çoğu burik. Dayıtsan, dayıtsan martı az paksetsin renk, adan renk, az renk, adan renk. Moda vraçsa mek milyonov terefis meçen gelin. Porsen, porsen, kısın kısın atsa ovna gari el. Yem aşkadak neres kısın vatçer günüm eyin. Hangars mi or? Dağman eyin, vor günü gari eyin, kur kügüme şırçan eyin. Arabot kalsin, vor korzik nere, apoş, kamera nere, panere, şigan. Koğser dar eren, işmez kılan dar eren. Timister Zionyana, var ort neru, sendikat yeger, Polor darere varov edev, ederdin ama sayına tüm çek o stora kırmaz. Isi var anjamanak, varov küpçen kides içe lavakuy miçotsa, ayo terevis de garere ki şapat mı yer bu şapat, kretej yer bu şapat. Yegurse cancelere, poloru ve dare, fire everybody, tur siyes alince polor, mek yer bu şapat ıspase, verşi yet ki vera norokes baymanak ira, yet kukas, var azad visas, Kütüderen, Union Union kütüderen. Çeyiz Sovyeti ma tutma gösterak re bilen zat ka ama sadim hokminer. Ya vela vat sıkal sıkal arab kail arab gösterak re. Hangar dastir uken dastink var ortner yegan uskusat meçmet ne lamen pani meç kiterni hotel. Açer paver uskusat aşkadil ler var nogaranu meyik. Orma hangar zgara uskusat lerat gomera. At Japan var vergeleyik. Pagetsin, ber pakten. Ben daha da sergör, da Noren ne kadar anım çıkar. Azif Noren veres kısa ne kadar el. Yegur ot kabir ot şapat ne rinçer. Potorik yega, vatsrev gargut destes an veran ne ra poç, sirut sani gan teran. Anal çer paver, her çabes kısa ne kadar an el. Hedo tesaram ne kadar var, iba mena spasats. Tesaran ser apoş filmin tasken kısması yer pin degare mayt. Buramın kreni var anıstars kamera yok ki parsana parser. Ya varen kuvvet sener polor tebiller ki parsanan. Abrant mere şalgat sevay tebi Musa da ki parsanan. Ayim yer azats aşkın tesaran ener adi. Pats tesek içe ga vasus bey eksen ga panotiona sav ga mega yere kamera uneyi degare lo amar. Eski adde sarar var bir negare, bari yere kamera yok negare, hiç kılay çıllar. Az çemav neyir, az çemav neyir, intirkat kenek çevomu. Yere kamera yok negare eski adde saranı. Yavan jamanak filmo var ki negare, ilk filmere laboratuvar var ki ilk. Laboratuvarın aç ort Arduğan uçu jamı vetsin yoti mezi report kudayın. Tela ve lavçe içe payma nere. Ad negara anımı verçatsa ve aç ort oru report arayın. Eski var. İzi amar, Mr. Director, There is no picture, filmi bura batker çıka. Si hiç kısak, sev sev sev çıka, hiç besinler. Orem at kameran vor uğargaz eyink vor, yerpemin guvarge eyink, yet urge vor varsu garne gat kameran eri, zahu çer varsu bir darnez. Betker eyink istuken nayin, kaşkadi çaşkadi revaylen. Betçi korzik mi ga vor şatır gisen, şatır eyink gosen. Verçiye vor peren, Asistent kameramanı var ansına belki at şatırı bana. Filme gansını iyi. Pats çine garır at şatırı yete çıllığa. Oraya ben as yegrot kameramanı çe dağıp eraz at şatırı. At tık tık tık tık vurgen amin ankan vur batker mi guga filme. Batker çıka. Hed tatsa vaysik et nirakam tüya meşnayız. Normal baymanları da kırnaz ansınasman illa lat bisi arzman er. Pats pare pak da par bis. Երկու կամերաները նկարած էի ադ ադ ֆիլմերը կորզածելով ադ դեսարանը գրսա գաբել իրար եւ այսպեսի պատեր անցած դժվարություններ անցած նախ դժվար էր մադրասել ֆիլմը իրավունքը ստանալ դժվար էր դժվարություններու մեջ վտանգ յունիերու խնդիրներ յունիեն է ասի արի արի վերջապես մեջտեղ եկավ մեջտեղ եկավ փերինգ եւ ադ ասոցիացիաշնը որգար պրոդյուսերներու օդարտերը դայեցան հավանեցին հավնեցան հավանեցին Asin lave, asin araçın garki filme. Yavaş sevap filme meşter bering. Yavaş arkele bu jöğürt kiden vurcaklı kuşal susuyor mu ki hiç? 
پس گوزه از بادموتین و بادمل برده هوان اپر شاده را گسیره گیدن یا گوگایه نا باکایی نیش بوره غازه ترف سیز هستی خشلام کده تو قد ماسی که خوصی که ایبا پولرس می آسین می دیتی دنگ فوریده زو موساده پوساله ران کاراسون اوره گم اوره را انکلرن لزوب گردک سر پاره گم نرونال لسل بور بریان کال هدوین از سوچا تورتیان یو چی مور آنک سسکرایب تو یوتوب پا جانورتا کرویچک یوتیم یوتوبین سسکرایب یغیک آن وجاره Sada sütüyün. The land of Ararat, legendary resting place of Noah's Ark, and for thousands of years, the heart of the Armenian homeland. At its peak in 95 BC, the borders of Armenia thrust across the entire Middle East. The king who united this empire of 25 million people was Tigranes the Great. By the year 287 AD, the Armenians became the first Christian nation in the world, with Ashken, the first Christian queen in history. The church Etchmiadzin was built in 301 AD and has been the sea of Armenian religious life for 1,600 years. In 451 AD, General Vartan Mamikonyan was already fighting for religious freedom. But in the 13th century, the Ottoman Turks invaded and occupied Armenia. And finally, in 1915, they marched one and a half million Armenians into the Syrian desert to be exterminated. But a handful of stubborn Armenians from the town of Musada stood their ground to resist the Turkish army. They rose from the blood and thunder of battle to create what the world has come to know as the 40 days of Musada.
would be much better for all of us if you return to Germany. Dr. Lipsius, what an honor to see you. What did that German fool want? He was the same old bore. Seems he and his fellow missionaries don't like the way we're treating the Armenians. What did you say to him? I told him his reports of atrocities were exaggerated. Then I advised him back to Germany. Good. Incidentally, we only have a few minutes before Morgenthau is due. Let's go over the progress report. Yes. It's very good. In Sebastian, the entire population is on its way out. Also, those from Harpert are being marched down the Euphrates River now. But our biggest successes have been in Karim, Mush, and Zeytun. All Armenians from those areas have been totally relocated. Relocated. By April, no one will remember what an Armenian is or even care. If we lose this war, Talat, all the countries in our empire will be returned to national rule. The Armenians will want their country back just like all the others. If that happens, we lose the entire eastern third of Asia Minor. The Germans can't afford to let that happen in Verbasha. They provide us with too much money and equipment for us to lose. Some Germans are calling us the sick man of Europe. Let them call us what they want. They know damn well, as long as we control the Dardanelles, they need us more than we need them. The American ambassador is here, sir. We appreciate this visit, Mr. Morgenthau. It's an honor to have such an illustrious guest. Can we dispense with the formalities, sir? Certainly. I forget you Americans are much more straightforward than we Asiatics. Please sit down. I prefer standing. I won't be long. As you like. So, to what do we owe this visit? I think you know. We've discussed this before. Mr. Morgenthau, men such as you and I have more important things to talk about. Reports keep crossing my desk about atrocities so hideous I cannot believe them. From Lepsius, no doubt. The American government does not go on hearsay, sir. These verified reports claim that over a million Armenians have been murdered and thousands more die uh, daily. Minister of the Interior, I must protest. Your accusations are outrageous. And you're meddling in the internal affairs of our country. This Armenian situation is a simple matter of relocation for their safety until the war is over. There has been absolutely no undue harshness. No undue harshness. Well, this just fell into our hands. It is dated four months ago. To all military leaders and governors, in the event that we must forge a new alliance with our Turkish brothers to the east, the Armenians and their country will stand in our way. That problem must be eliminated. Therefore, the deportation of the entire Armenian population is justified and all resistance must be punished by death. Signed, Alma Bey, Minister of War, Talat Pasha, Minister of the Interior.
Where did you find this? What difference does it make? Come, Mr. Morgenthorne. An intelligent man like you falling for such fakery. What about this? Fakery? This mass grave was dug up by German and American missionaries. These fakeries were taken by German officers assigned to your army units. My God, we've even had reports that your troops are fornicating with corpses. Lies, fabrications. You should check your sources more carefully, Mr. Ambassador. I don't understand your concern, Mr. Morgenthorne. You're a Jew. These Armenians are Christians. We've treated the Jews perfectly well. Why are you bothering with them? I am not here as a Jew, sir. I'm here as the American ambassador. My country is outraged at what you are doing to the Armenians, not because they are Christians or because you are Mohammedans, or because I am a Jew. We are outraged because you violate every concept of civilized humanitarian behavior. How do you ever expect to be accepted by the civilized world with this barbarism behind you? I don't understand it. The Armenians have always been the cultural and financial backbone of the Ottoman Empire. And Let us understand one thing, Mr. Morgenthorne. We are the backbone of our country. We! And it is we who will forge an alliance that will stretch from the Bosphorus to the borders of China, a pan-Turkic empire with one language and one religion, Turkic. And yes, we will eliminate any people who get in our way. We've taken up enough of your time, Mr. Ambassador. Your view will be taken under advisement. Please give President Wilson our best. Ambassador. Don't worry about the Armenians. Sir. Your photographs. They are for you. Your Excellencies, we have many more. Why do we tolerate this son of a bitch? By tolerating him, we found out that our enemies are trying to build a human rights case against us. Therefore, if the Armenians are gone, just a few villages here and there. And then we move down near the border to Musada and push the remaining Armenians down to the Syrian desert. You think Musidag is the most beautiful place in the world? Mm hmm? For me, it's always been so. I think you love this mountain more than you love me. Only a fool could love a mountain more than a woman like you. And you're a fool. <laughs> you know, I used to run through these mountains when I was a young boy. It was wonderful. I'm also the first of my family to have left. Mm. You make up for it by visiting every year? I certainly do. Mama, Papa, look up here! Stephen! Stephen, come down here before you fall! In Paris, he was so, so cultured. After only a month here, he's become like a mountain man. Even carries a rifle. Paris, he was French. Here he's learning what it's like to be an Armenian. Don't grudge him that. 
Father. I found the cave. And? Look, there might be more. I'm sure. You know, some museum in Europe might display these coins, and the sign below them will read, Found by Stephen Bagradian. Can we stay in Lucidai a little longer? You've been out of school long enough. We're going back to Paris. Then Father and I will stay. Oh, the little half-breed is independent. Just remember, part of you belongs to me. And that half is French. But I like it here. There's a school in the village, and I have more friends here than back at home. Can I stay? Please? If we did that, we'd never get you back to civilization. You're going back to Paris with us, and that's that. I should really send you both to Switzerland. With this endless war going on, we'd both be safer that way. Get going. There's a lot to do. Can I continue packing? Yes. For all of us. Wonderful. Stopped him. I was looking just for some French tobacco. <laughs> he has guts for his age. <laughs> Give me your rifle, son. I'm glad you're a reasonable man. Avo! Caro! Excellent discipline. The deserters. Well, I've learned the discipline of Balkan wars. Under your command, Captain Bakradian. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Kelikian. Of course, I was just a private then. But I was very proud to serve under one of the Bakradians. Besides, who doesn't know the famous Bakradians throughout the empire? Import, export. Constantinople, Vienna, Paris, New York. <laughs> what happened to you? Why are you hiding like this? I was in the army till five months ago. All the Armenians in my battalion were disarmed and sent to the work camps. Me and the others realized that something very strange was happening. So we went home to get our families. Your families are with you? Not mine. I couldn't make it home in time to save them from relocation. Now we all live up in the mountains, in caves and rock shelters. How terrible. Yes, lady, but we're still alive. You really don't know what's going on, do you? Kilikian, my villa is open to you and your men. No, thank you. We don't want to be spoiled. Can you use this? Can you find ammunition for it? Live off the land, you know. Take the bag, too. Am I missing something? Yes, Juliet. But so am I. And when I find out what's happening, we'll all know, right? Right. Let's go. Race you home. my friend. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Wonderful to see you. And the beautiful Madame Juliet. Hello, Jamal. Nice to see you. Stephen, my boy. Stephen, you grow bigger and bigger every year that I see you. 
Jamal, your deputy, Ali Nassif, said to me that you had gone to Constantinople. Is that right? Yes, Gabriel, I did. Well, why are we all standing here? You know that my house is always open to you. Come. Gabriel, my friend, I would like to speak to you alone, if I may. Please. All right. Then can you get us some something to drink? Certainly. Well done. Come, Stephen. Well? You're a traveled man, Gabriel. You know the world. There are lots of things I don't understand. What's the problem, Jamal? All my life, I thought the only difference between Turk and Armenian was religion. I never thought of us as being different races. Not until these last few months. Well, there's no reason for us to change the way we feel about one another. Just because of that? Before your family built the trade up in these villages, we were starving. Turk and Armenian alike. My grandparents told me that. And your family has always been generous. Tell me what you need, Jamal, and you've got it. No, no, Gabriel. This time it is I who can help you. The governor's reserve contingent is taking over the law enforcement in Musada. The order came today. And what will the governor do? Disarm the Armenians. Everybody will be relocated into the Syrian desert. A lot of us Turks have lived with you in peace, Gabriel. We don't want this. I know, Jamal. I know. Excuse me. Jamal, would you like a drink? You know we're having our farewell party tomorrow. We expect you and your wife. No, no, thank you, Madam Juliet. I, I must get back on duty. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing important. You're scaring me with all this secrecy, Gabrielle. Look, Juliet, I'm going to get our passports tomorrow. By day after, we could be on a Greek freighter headed home. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Simon and his children volunteered to help with the party preparations. <laughs> ah, Simon! <laughs> Come. Come inside. Come along, everybody. Going to Antioch to try to get your passports back. Good luck. <laughs> A lot has happened in the last few days, Simon. I'm glad you came. If you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Simon, none of the crops came in this year. How much food could we gather? I mean, how long could all the people survive? A month, perhaps. It's a strange question for a man who's leaving. <laughs> How many guns are there in Musadag? I suspect there are... Every family has a few hunting rifles. Nothing more? How should I know? The gunsmith. Huh. I'm also the blacksmith, the locksmith. All right, all right. I see a, a Mauser and a carbine now and then. They bring all their old hardware to me to fix. Mausers and carbines? Mm. How many? I have to know, Simon. We have 300 Mausers, over 100 carbines. They're left over from the 1908 revolution. The Young Turk Party passed them out and forgot to pick them up when they took power. Not many people know about them. Fewer even know where they're hidden. Ammunition too? 
Enough. And they're in perfect shape, Gabriel. I dig them up myself every year and go over them one by one. I oil them and wrap them in goatskins. <laughs> We're a couple of old soldiers, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> well, the secret is out. I knew those old mousers would be used again. In the meantime, let's all get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I haven't slept in a bed since my wife died seven years ago. Oh, I take my jug of wine and my bugle and go out into the orchard. I drink a little bit. I blow a few cavalry charges just so she'll know I'm still thinking about her. Then I sleep under a tree. So you go to bed. I'm going to walk under the stars. thought about that myself. Wish I had the money. I'm here for the same reason you are. Only I've been here for hours. He hasn't moved once. Not even to go to the toilet has he moved. Maurice Durant. Only don't let the name fool you. I'm traveling under an American passport. Gabriel Bergradian. How does a Frenchman come to travel with an American passport? Well, actually, I'm half Greek and half French, but American. I was born in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Never heard of it. Well, until the last couple of weeks, I hadn't heard a whole lot about Moussa Dog either. <laughs> I was just joking. So what's a French Greek from Milwaukee doing in this part of the world? I'm a journalist. I was unlucky enough to cross paths with a corporal in the Turkish army who didn't like my looks. He confiscated my passport along with some other things. You can go in now. Oh, lucky man. C'est la vie. You know, I, I really just wish that that corporal hadn't confiscated my wallet as well as my passport because you and I could... Mr. Bureaucrat, I'm an American citizen and I demand that you, you give my passport back to me! nothing! You better come up with... Good story, my stupid American friend. Because what you are doing, American or not, is still espionage, huh? Come in. What do you want, Magredian? I've come to collect my passport, Amendi. It's never been held up this long before. Times have never been the same. Before. I come to Musadag every year, Governor. But I do spend most of my time in Europe. We are well aware of your activities. And I'm not accustomed to the deprivation of my freedoms.
distinguished service in the Balkan Wars, captain in the Turkish artillery. Very impressive. Why aren't you with your unit? If I'm needed, they know where to find me. Hmm. You're a soldier uh, on leave. There are no passports for people with your status. My wife and son carry French passports. I know. They are considered Turkish subjects. They are French! <coughs> when can I expect their passports? I might be able to get it for them in a few days. They're planning on leaving tomorrow. I said a few days. I understand how expensive this war is, Governor. And I'm prepared to contribute to the uh, war effort. Just a minute. You are bribing the governor of a Turkish province? Pardon me, Effendi. But the passport tax has been accepted every year since I can remember. Who do you think I am, Bakradian? Some cheap uh, desk clerk? I know who you are, Effendi. I just want to know your price. Shut up! Get out of here, Bakradian! Get out before I have you arrested! You Armenians think you can do anything with your goddamn money! Now get out! Money won't do you any good with a noose around your neck! Asman! Asman! Go. Badly. I didn't do so well either. Do you have a place to stay? My clothes, my money. What were you taking pictures of? So-called Armenian relocation. Relocation? Mm-hmm. Relocation, deportations. I'm going to teach that bastard how to respect the Turk. I swear, Osman, in a few days, I'm going to show them how. I have a feeling they're not going to be very happy when they develop that film. They probably will charge me with espionage. I'm going to have one hell of a story when I get back to the States. If you get back to the States. Come home with me. You can plan your escape from there. You serious? Yes, I am. You know, my wife is really going to love me now. First time write a deserter to the villa, and now I'm bringing home a spy. Come on. Find some brandy in the living room. Thank you. Oh, really? That's why. Oh. That was
you get the passport? No, not even with the tax money. We'll talk about it later. Let's go meet people now. Please, continue. Forgive me for staring. I have been taken by surprise a number of times today. First by the Turks, then by the charm of this villa. Now by you. Excuse me, my, my name is Morris Durand. You're French. What a pleasure. I'm Juliette Begradian. Well, actually, I'm an American. But my father was French. I was born in the States. It's been a long time since this piano has been played so expertly. I'm flattered. But it's, uh, it's just a hobby. Oh. And your profession? Writer. Photographer. Traveler. And appreciator of beauty. Mr. Duran, you are welcome here. Do come and meet some of my other guests. Please. Inside, quickly! If you 
walk. All right. Get inside quickly. Get going into this house. All right. All right, inside. Yes. <laughs> What happened to them around? Gone. Crushed into the earth like so much garbage. Excuse me. Excuse me, please, but you must allow me to administer to these ladies. safety. We were nowhere near the war. Only Armenians were relocated. And the Turkish peasants were allowed to take our land and our homes. Though the war was no danger to them. They came and got people in the middle of the night. They waited until we were far enough out of town so that the screams couldn't be heard. Then the whips started cracking. We walked day and night, God only knows how long, without a break. The ones that couldn't make it were left behind at first. Then came that first shot. And suddenly we knew that they didn't just want us off our lands. us all dead. By the fourth night, we still had meat. The Turks stuffed themselves with food they stole from our farms. the scraps into the dirt, taunting the children. The rest of us could do nothing while we watched the soldiers drive off our friends, one by one. Young girls were raped. The young boys were raped and then killed. Castrated. Bastard Turks. Most of the men of fighting age were already murdered on the work battalions. What can we do with women, children, and the old? No one is blaming you, Aram. No one. After a few days, most of the people were gone. Over half died of starvation. Exposure, dehydration, but most were killed outright. And then they came for Karun. I tried to stop them. It was too much for the already delirious children. They panicked and ran into the night. Started shooting the 
children. the drink they'd shoot us and sure enough they started firing the four of us hid behind some bushes of our people weren't so lucky. We waited until it was safe, and then we began walking. God only knows for sure how long before those farmers picked us up and brought us here. Deeply troubled, Dr. Higerson. I need to speak with you. I need your advice. Yesterday on the mountain, I met a deserter. He told me that Armenians in the Turkish army were being isolated and shot. That would be Kalikian. When I returned home, Jamal was here. He told me to get my family out of Turkey, because the army was coming. And today I was refused our passports, even though I offered twice the usual bribe. And at the governor's office, I met this man, Maris. He talked about deportations and murders and relocations. Now Simon's people come and tell us about the horror and degradation that is being inflicted on our people. And nobody here seems to take it seriously. Gabriel, getting excited would only cause panic. Everyone knows that up till now we've been isolated and left alone. It's true. Our leaders, artisans and intellectuals in Constantinople are being arrested or executed. Executed? All Armenian businesses and properties confiscated. But now they're coming for us, Father. Don't people realize what's going to happen? I mean, the Turks are doing things to us now that the Sultan's never even dared. I'd like you to call a meeting. Tomorrow. With all the leaders of the village. Gabriel, you don't know your own people. They haven't been taught to fight to resist. Then it's about time they learned, Father.
Are you with me? Or against me? I realize it was time you found out. This government policy of exile and relocation means massacre. The order comes from Constantinople. I didn't say anything before because I was hoping we would be spared. But that hope is over. Gabriel. We have only a few days before the governor gets here. His job is to hand us over to a contingent of the 4th Army for us to be deported to the Syrian desert. Their real aim, as we now know, is to exterminate us. The question before us is, what are we going to do? We can cross the mountains to Aleppo and put ourselves under the protection of the foreign embassies. Maybe the French in Cyprus can be notified. They may help. We haven't got time for maybes and miracles, Mayor. What do you suggest? There's only one way for all of us. Resistance. <laughs> We're not soldiers. We're farmers. Resist? How? If we're gonna die, I know how I plan to. And I won't be like a beggar on his knees. If you're gonna die, do it fighting instead of being treated like a deprived animal. Why should we die at all? My name is Kalikian. The father and Bakradian know me. The captain is right. The only way to survive is to resist. We can't do it here in your villages. You'll be butchered here for sure. What do you mean? We should go up there, to the mountain. The mountain? Musadar. <laughs> yes, Musadar. Kalikian's right. There's only two ways up that mountain. One from the front, the other, the seaside trail. We have a secret arsenal of arms, of guns and ammunition. Enough for everyone out here. If we can take what we have up to that mountain, food, clothes, medicines, tents, and all the guns you can lay your hands on, we can resist. Arm resistance against the military power? Christ tells us not to rebel against authority, not to fight evil with evil. My first duty is to the gospel. Resistance is killing, and the Bible's clear on that. I speak for most of the women. We've all lived in fear for a long time, even if we don't talk about it. Now, if you men are so cowardly that you want to throw yourself over to the mercy of the Turks, then you stay. We women will take up arms and we will go up to Musadakh to fight! To fight! There are only two choices for us. Die here for sure, or take a chance and fight from that mountain. I must excuse myself from this meeting. Think of your children, Pastor. Think of your daughters. It's his faith, Gabriel. God be with you. Now that we've all decided, and if Gabriel will accept, he will be our leader. Thank you. Thank you for your trust. Now go home and pack. Tell everybody. Take everything with you. Anything you can fight with. Simon will be in charge of retrieving the hidden guns. We will leave tomorrow night as quietly as possible. And we we'll need your blessings, Father. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Gabrielle? Yes. It's late. Very late. Come to bed. I've got to talk to you, Juliet. What's wrong? We're not leaving? I'm not going. You and Stephen are leaving tomorrow. Maris and two guides will take you to Aleppo. What about you? No. Gabriella, I'm not leaving without you. Yes, you are. the cart. Uh, Madam is not leaving. If you want to, you can go now. Well, what do you think of that? Madam is not leaving. I guess that means the both of us are going to stay.
Let's go. Ali, I want you to tell me what the hell is going on in Musadal. People have gone to the mountains, sir. Why did you not stop them? With these few men. Who are these people? These are the Protestants that stayed behind. Tell me, old man, why did your people go up to the mountain? They were afraid of Fendi. Afraid? <laughs> From what? Do you suppose that uh, swine Bagradian had anything to do with this? Please, Effendi. My people did no wrong. They meant you no harm. Good. Then uh, you won't mind sharing your women with me and my troops for a few days. Please, Effendi. I promised my people that you would show them mercy. You're even a bigger idiot than those on the mountain. Bring these women to the Bagradian villa. We'll set up headquarters there. I would, uh, I would like to be able to help. I just don't know exactly how. Why didn't you leave for Aleppo when you had the chance? I don't 
don't know. I suppose I rather liked the idea of being an eyewitness to history. Death-defying feats. Seriously, what can I do? You're a journalist, Maris. That's why you're in this part of the world, isn't it? Do your job, and maybe someday people will know what happened here. We all contribute what we know best. Well, I hope that history is kind to us. <laughs> I hope so, too. Hey, Maris. Get yourself a gun. It could save your life. I think I will add you all to my harem. <laughs> What's mine? Yes, Fendi. Soon, this villa will be mine. Harder, harder! What's mine? Yes, Fendi. Have the troops been taken care of? Yes, yes, Fendi. Good. It is important we make our troops happy. Come here. <laughs> Shortly. Yeah. Yeah. At least the minister's god has good taste in women. Mm. Yeah. Are we really going to be scouts? That's what I heard. We'll be the forward observers. Some of the other boys will pull guard duty. We'll even carry guns. Let us all thank the Lord for our first full day on Musadab. Deliver us, O Lord, from a spirit of narrowness, of bitterness, or of prejudice. Teach us to recognize the gifts of thy grace in all those who call upon thee with one honest heart. Unite us in love and in truth. Amen. May God bring blessings to all our days on this mountain of Moses. And may God have mercy on all those who stayed behind. May God be with you. to disturb you. No, that's all right. I was just thinking. 
Would you like to tell me about it? I was thinking about my life. I was thinking about my family. About whether I'm right in calling all these people here. I would be embarrassed to tell you about my thoughts. The good ones are always interrupted by nights. Jerome, don't let your nightmares make a bitter person out of you. Try to feel, try to salvage some tenderness. How? I don't even remember how many of them raped me. I hate and I've never hated before. I want vengeance, but God tells us not to have vengeance in our hearts. He tells us to love our enemies, but I can't. I'm afraid I've lost my soul. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed for coming to you. But I wanted to talk to you. to know that I feel safe when I'm near you. <gasps> I just wish there's something I could do. Do you have? Just being here has given me back some of the dignity I lost out there. Six, top of the mountain, Musadab. This is where the Armenians will make their stand. It may be their last. I've traveled half a world to cover a war, to witness history. And now I've become part of that history, an Armenian in spirit. I'll share their destiny, their fate. <laughs> Talk about irony. on his way. And he has a machine gun. You understand what I said? Now go up there and get those people down. It shouldn't take you more than a few hours. I'll be at the villa. Now get going! The Turks are coming. Right. Elikin, get the men and meet me at the Baroto Pass.
believe this. I just can't believe this. They got most of my men. Rifles, ammunition, and the machine gun. How? Bagradian, sir. Bagradian, Bagradian! I must put a stop to this. I must kill that man. You, go cable Constantinople. Call it a, a major insurrection in Musadar. Request help. Tell them to send mountain artillery. Now get going. Yes, sir. Right away. with your Armenian friends. Bring me the minister and his family. But they have nothing to do with the people on the mountain. I don't give a damn. They've never harmed any Turks. I know, I was raised with them. Shut up! well aware of your friendship with these Armenian dogs. I know you. I have given you an order. Now do it! We have some dead, and we have some wounded. But we survived the first battle! <laughs> Today, for the first time, we let the governor know that Armenians will not allow themselves to be slaughtered. That we are prepared to shed blood in the defense of our homes and our lands and our families. That we will fight to the bitter end. We will never surrender! <laughs> What's going to happen to all of you? Come down. Get your Armenian corpses. Look at your woman. Children. Look at your priest. You're wrong, Dr. 
about the Lepsius, absolutely wrong. This is what the Armenians do, rebel. No, they were only defending themselves. We asked you to return to Germany, Dr. Lepsius. He did. And brought this situation to the attention of many powerful people. There has been enough killing already, all over the country. The Armenians are Musadara must be allowed to live. They must! We made example of. We're not going to tolerate rebels. Your Excellencies, as head of the Order of Dervishes, I plead for those on Musadar. Let them go away and settle on a land of their own choosing. You religious men are all alike. Soft, ignorant. Herr Wagenheim, as the German ambassador, please exert any influence you may have. Dr. Lepsius, I cannot interfere in the internal affairs of another country. Your refusal to stand up on a moral issue will haunt you, Mr. Ambassador. You know very well what is happening here. Please, Enver Bey. Almost the entire nation of Armenia is already dead. For the future generations of Turks, stop. This problem will be settled within the week. And all of your suggestions will be taken under consideration. That's all, gentlemen. We're busy fighting a war. Your fanaticism about the Armenians is causing serious problems in Germany and the Pashan. You had better settle this Muzadak situation quickly. A division of the Fourth Army is on its way to Musada, commanded by General Hikmet Pasha and Colonel Hauptmann from the German artillery. General Hoffman, our German advisor. General Hoffman and I have been discussing the advantages of scouting the middle slopes for several days before placing the howitzers. Since we don't have to worry about deporting these people, we can supervise the extermination from here in uh, relative comfort. Governor, I guarantee you, one Armenian will come off that mountain alive. Good. If you gentlemen will join me inside, I suggest we drink to it.
about Stephen, how dangerously he's living. Juliet, you worry so much about all of us. Not enough about yourself. How long do we have to stay here, Gabriel? I don't know. But I know it's been difficult for you. Day 12, it all seems so helpless. Is it the fate of this people to suffer so? Men, women, and even children fall. Day after bloody day. There's not even enough medicine for the wounded. With their agonized cries, they seem to be screaming. We will not be driven from our land. Lord. We will not give up. Turks must know that too by now. Together. You look tired. Uh, 
exhausted. We've been so busy, we hardly get a chance to see each other anymore. Maris, you've been staring at me since you arrived. I didn't uh, think I was that obvious. Don't worry, I'm flattered. No need to feel embarrassed. But don't keep your hopes up. I'm a very patient man. Maris, why did you come up here? Now, there's still time to get you and Stephen out of here. Please, Maris. Let's remain friends. of these wounded, uh, on behalf of the, the women and children, to seek some kind of truce, some kind of compromise. I understand your compassion, Doctor, but you must be mad to even consider it. You'll end up the same as the pastor and his daughters. I will never deliver my people to the governor. Never. Gabriel is right. Forget it. But what can we do? Within a few days, those howitzers will kill us all. I ask you again, what can we do? Yes, those howitzers are a problem. But that does not mean we hand ourselves over voluntarily. I think it's right away. Spare the men to speak attack. We better work that out. We have things to consider now.
Yes, I'm fine. I understand your burden. The responsibility you've taken on yourself is... Since time is limited, I wanted you to know how I feel about you. I love you for your strength. Please, Carol. No, I'm not kidding myself. I know it's an impossibility between you and me. I wanted you to know how I felt. I know what you're saying, Carol. Gabriel, I don't want to die like those women and men in the village. Oh, Carol. We won't talk of dying. from God. It's a blessing from our boys. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you stop them?
let a bunch of pigs blow up the howitzers last night? How can you be so stupid as to let this happen? Get out. Get out! I see you're having problems too, General. You have to find something convincing to explain this to Constantinople. Gentlemen, please. No need for argument. We are dealing with very intelligent people up there on that mountain. Now we all know it's going to be very difficult to bring them down. I don't know what you're talking about, Hoffman. <coughs> but I'll bring them down if I have to strangle every Armenian with my own hands. I'll bring them down. Use your brains instead of your hands. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We'll wait a while. Let them starve up there. Let them grow weak and sick. We'll be patient so that no one escapes from that damn nest. Day 29. There's hardly any food left. What little water remains is to clean the wounds of the injured. There is no hope. Gabriel! What's the matter? We caught this man. He killed one of our guards and then tried to steal some food. One of your men, Kilikian. Why did you do it? I was hungry. So is everybody else. There's only one way to get food. It's very risky. If a few men can make it undetected down the precarious cliffs, there's fish in the ocean. It's either that or death by starvation. Some of the fishermen volunteer for this suicidal mission. They know if they're spotted by the Turks, they'll be easy targets. But they go anyway. If they make it, there'll be another day. Another battle. It's obvious if you're going to send a runner, you've got to do it now. Yeah, but it has to be someone who knows the area well. No one knows these mountains any better than my son. Hike! Hike! We're sending you on a mission. We're going to Aleppo for help. I'm going with him. No, Stephen. I know the mountain almost as well as Hake. I said no. It's a rough journey. You're too young, Stephen. Too young? Who helped you blow up the howitzers? I'm going with you. I said no. Why? Because I'm your son? Because you can't take orders! There are roadblocks. No problem. I already know a way. You've proven you have a fine mind. Now prove you know how to use it. Come back in one piece. Hey, the letter I'm going to give you is for the French embassy in Cyprus. But you'll have to deliver it to the American consul in Aleppo. Is that clear? With the letter will be a map showing our location and the Turkish positions around us. It's most important for all of us. We'll leave tonight. Good luck. <laughs>
crazy? I nearly cut your throat. What are you doing here? I'm going with you. Like hell. What are you going to do? Drag me back to the mountain? Let's go. <laughs> Take off. There'll be more soldiers coming. I'll hold them back as long as possible. You know the mountain better than I do. Shut up and get going. There are people on that mountain waiting for help. Constantinople is very angry, General. They can't wait any longer. Come in. Sir, this boy's from the mountain. So why bring him here? Take him out, shoot him. I thought you might want to question him. He's claiming this house is his. What's your name? Stubborn, huh? No, I know. I know you're good friends with Jamal here. But I want to know who you are from your own mouth. Well? I'm talking to you! Stephen. Stephen Bakeridian. Much better. Allah has delivered this boy into my hands. I think I'll interrogate him myself. Then later, he can deliver passports to his father for me. Captain, take him up to my room and tie him down to my bed. Yeah, wait outside.
50,000 soldiers motivated like those people up there and no army in the world could stop me. Customs are different here, Hoffman. That's not a man up there, that's a... Go back to Aleppo, Hoffman. For some rest, relaxation. As soon as I get rid of these Armenian pigs, I'll join you in the Turkish baths there. Yes, I'll do that. When we get back to Paris, I'm going to soak in a tub all day until I'm really clean. The French don't bathe. They just invent great perfumes. Oh, stop it, Gabrielle. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't be laughing at the French. They're our only hope right now. Quickly, they need you. What is it? Just come quickly, please.
You're a crude animal without any human compassion. That good. Juliet anymore. Fine. <laughs> if that's the way it is, then fine. <laughs> from Talat Pasha himself. This is what he says. It is the duty of each Turkish soldier to assure the capture of Musadag, our national honor, is at stake here. Every man, woman, and every child on that mountain is to be killed.
they're coming.
Clark will be moving in very soon. I need that. I've got an appointment. Hey, I'll go with you. No, Simon. You're in charge now. Defend that pass. I'll be back. Gabriel. Come, kill again. General. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> so, your elite troops are going to bring them down from that mountain in three days. <laughs> I'm tired of that, friend. And, uh, what else do you want me to report to uh, <laughs> Constantinople? Oh, if you had done your job properly and delivered to the Armenians like you were supposed to, we wouldn't be having this conversation! <laughs> now that you two have failed, me to get the blame for it, huh? <laughs> A message for you.
be back no matter how long it takes. The boats are leaving, so we have to hurry. All right. We've got the rest of them down to boats. What about you? I'll have to say goodbye to someone. days of Musada. Soon after the French rescue, more and more horror stories seeped out of the blood-drenched mountains and deserts. But the world didn't care. The attacks continued, and by 1922, Armenia was totally void of Armenians. 25 years later, when his advisors warned him that future generations of Germans would suffer for what he was doing to the Jews, Hitler's reply was, nonsense. Who remembers the Armenians today? Now, 60 years later, out of the ashes and embers, out of the depths of despair, the spirit and faith of these proud people re-emerges to demand their birthright. The eastern one-third of modern-day Turkey is the land of Ararat. It is, and always will remain, the land of the Armenians.